All living things need nutrients to survive, and all living things obtain that nutrients through the process of nutrition. Depending on how living things obtain their food, they can be producers, consumers, scavengers, or decomposers. Producers are autotrophic living things, so they make their own food through the process of photosynthesis. Plants are produced in terrestrial ecosystems, and algae are produced in aquatic ecosystems. Primary consumers are heterotrophic living things because they feed on producers, so they are herbivores. Secondary consumers are also heterotrophic living things because they feed on primary consumers, so they are carnivores. Tertiary consumers are heterotrophic living things as well because they feed on secondary consumers, so they are also carnivores. Scavengers feed on the remains of dead animals, so they are also heterotrophic living things. The composers are mainly microorganisms and fungi. What they do is breaking down dead animal and plant materials into minerals. Then those minerals return to the soil and are used by producers. This is a diagram that represents how living things feed on other living things in an ecosystem. It is called food chain. Apart from nutrition, there are other relationships among living things in an ecosystem. Mutualism is the relationship between two species when both benefit. Commensalism is the relationship between two species when one benefits and the other remains unaffected. Parasitism is the relationship between two species when one benefits and the other suffers. The species that benefits is called a parasite. Two species compete with each other to survive because they have the same needs, we call that relationship competition. 